Hi and welcome to the information video for the Software Engineering Technology and Technician programs at Conestoga College. My name is Carlos Crow. I am the first year coordinator for the programs. And I am going to tell you a little bit about the Software Engineering programs. So first of all, the Software Engineering Technology program, which is the one that most students go into, is a three-year diploma program. It has an optional com uh, component th for co-op, the idea is that after first year you can apply and if you qualify then you would be able to get into the co-op program and do four consecutive four-month co-op terms for 16 months in total after second year is completed. There's also a two-year version of the technology program. It doesn't have co-op uh, but it is shorter. It's two years and it's intended for two main reasons. Number one, uh, if someone has previous industry experience but no uh, diploma or if they are restricted in terms of only being able to do a two-year program for example those in second career so all of those programs together are called SET and I'm going to be talking about uh, the SET programs in general so why would you want to come into the SET programs we have a great reputation in industry the software development skills that our student develop are very valued out there and is recognized uh, in the key performance indicators that were done uh, over the past years was one question regarding knowledge and skills related to your future career and 95 percent satisfaction was reached on this one item that means that th the skills that you have when you hit industry are going to be valued in addition, we really emphasize problem solving skills. We do not value copy and paste of code. We really want you to look at a problem and solve it because that's what industry wants. We have a 94% satisfaction rating regarding problem solving. That is very, very high because our students and employers recognize the quality of our, of our program. We always want to make sure you have a challenge in front of you. Well, 97% satisfaction regarding do you have challenging courses? Employers love us as well. 100% employer satisfaction rating. Every single year that it's been measured, there has been a 100% employer satisfaction rating. And our students love us. When they were asked, would you recommend the program to someone else? 92% said yes. Now, do you need previous programming experience to come into the set programs? No, you don't need previous programming experience coming in. We will start you with the fundamentals and we focus on not, as I mentioned before, not just copy and paste, but actually coming up with solutions to problems. But we really spend a lot of time trying to make sure that you understand what you're doing and we ramp up from there. The upper year courses are definitely more advanced but by the time you hit the upper year courses you have a very good handle on what you're doing we typically recommend that if you don't have previous experience that in the first semester at least you do not have an outside job so that you're not working in addition to your schooling because it's just a lot of pressure you will be very very busy in the first semester if you don't have previous experience do you need a laptop? Yes, you do. This is a bring your own device program. The important specifications, uh, you need to be able to run Windows 10. Now, usually you would have a Windows laptop, but if you have a MacBook on which you can run Windows 10, that works too. It doesn't really matter whether you run it in parallels or in something else, as long as you can run Windows 10, because the vast majority of the work you'll be doing will be in Windows. You don't need a, a super high-end CPU. Uh, an i5 would be adequate. The amount of memory is very important. So minimum of eight gigabytes of RAM, probably more than that would be preferable as well. If you could do 12 or 16, you'll only be better off for it, but definitely at least eight gigabytes. In terms of storage, at least 500 gigabytes, either in a hard drive or an SSD, and we highly recommend the SSD and at least a 15-inch screen. 
There are other things as well that would be sort of taken for granted. For example, you know, having two USB ports, uh, having Wi-Fi, etc. But these are the things that you really absolutely need. So you're going to be spending a little bit of money on a laptop, but that laptop you'll be using throughout your set career. You will not have to spend a lot of money on textbooks or software. We have very few textbooks in our program. Our faculty really leverage the internet and their own experience very, very well. Our full-time faculty all have very extensive industry experience, and that shows up in the classroom. So as a result, we don't have a lot of need for a lot of textbooks. The current total cost for all textbooks is less than $300. And I'm not, not talking for a semester. I'm talking about for the entire time that you are in set. Of course, that could change. But that's the way it's been in the almost two decades that the set program has existed. In addition, the software that you'll need is generally available to you at no cost. We use a lot of Microsoft products and Microsoft has an agreement by which we can provide all kinds of Microsoft software to you at no cost. What else should you know? Well, SET is a hard program and it's a lot of work. Definitely you will be spending a lot of time. Something that we always tell our students is if you are a gamer, you probably want to get it out of your system before you start SET because you will not be able to spend uh, you know, 10, 15, 20 hours a week playing games. It is a lot of work. Speaking of games, though, we do have a game programming option starting in fall 2020. And yes, we have had both co-op students and grads employed in the gaming industry. For example, at EA Games, both in Kitchener and in Vancouver. Graduates have gone on to su very successful careers in all kinds of companies with all kinds of roles. I've got a long list of companies who have employed our co-ops and employed our grads. Uh, I provide an email address at the end that you can, where you can send me an email and I can send you that list and other information. And a very common question is, have our students been employed by Google? The answer is yes. Our co-op students are definitely recognized for their quality. Our salary levels are always right up there amongst, amongst the top. And for very good reason. Employers know that our co-op students are good. And we have had several students nominated for and even win the prestigious Co-op Student of the Year Award. Set faculty care about your success. We have an excellent group of full-time faculty. We work very closely with our part-time faculty as well. Um, in addition, in less than two decades of the SET program's existence, we've had two professors win the Aubrey Hagar Distinguished Teaching Award, which recognizes excellence in teaching. It's because we really do care about your success. So being in SET is incredibly rewarding. It is a great place to be. If you have any admissions questions, please email admissions at conestogac.on.ca. If you have non-admissions program related questions or to receive the information package I mentioned before, contact me directly. So my name again is Carlo Scro and CSGRO at conestogac.on.ca is where you would email any questions you have. I hope to hear from you. Thanks.